Okay, so let's see how merge sort works. Merge sort takes the elements that we're going to be sorting and we divide that list of elements into two groups. I have 10 elements here and I'm going to divide them into two groups by taking the first five elements and the second five elements. So I'm first going to sort these um, elements on the left. So I'm just going to move them down here. Things are going to be moving around. Uh, just try to follow along. I suggest that you actually try doing the merge sort and the quick sort algorithms yourself. Maybe get out a deck of cards or just write some numbers on a piece of paper and shuffle them around so that you get the idea of how these algorithms actually work. Okay, so now I have a list not of 10 items but a list of 5 items and I'm going to merge sort these values. So I'm going to use my algorithm again on these, the smaller set of values and I'm going to sort them using the merge sort algorithm. Well the merge sort algorithm divides my list into two groups um, and then we use the algorithm again on the left hand side and the right hand side. So I'm going to move to the left hand side first and use my merge sort algorithm to divide these values or to divide these two values into two different lists. Merge sort now we reach our base case in the left hand side where we only have one value in our list so we know that that's a sorted list. On the right hand side we have only one value in our list as well so we know that's a sorted list. We have two sorted lists at this point in time so now we want to merge these two sorted lists into one single sorted list. How do we do this? Well we're going to examine the two lists and we're going to take the smallest value from each of the lists and we're going to put it at the start of our sorted list. Now we have only one value left, so that's the smallest value, so I'm going to merge that with my newly sorted list. So now I have 2 and 22 are sorted. Now I'm going to move over to the right hand side and I'm going to merge sort these three elements. How do I merge sort these three elements? I take and I divide them into two groups, more or less equal groups. One has one element, one has two elements. This side that only has one element, well it's already sorted so we don't need to do anything with that, but this side that has two elements we need to merge sort it again. So I'm going to divide it into two different lists and I'm going to merge sort each of them. Well now each of them has one element only, so I know that these are two sorted lists. But in order to bring them into one sorted list I need to merge these two lists. I'm going to merge these two lists by choosing the smallest element of each uh, or between the two lists and put it into my sorted list. Then I'm going to take the smallest element again, and it happens to be the only one that's left, and merge it into my list. Okay, now I have two sorted lists from the elements that were on the right hand side of this split, and I'm going to merge them into one single sorted list. How do I do that? Well, I'm going to take the smallest item from each list and start with that because that's going to be my first element in my sorted list. Now from what's left I'm going to take the smallest element and put it into my sorted list and then I'm going to merge the final element into my sorted list. Okay, so now I have two sorted lists from those elements that were originally in the left hand side of my original list. I have two sorted lists, now I'm going to merge these two lists this is the key to merge sort. We'll merge these two sorted lists into a single sorted list by looking at the two lists and choosing the smallest element from from either list and putting it into my newly sorted or my new sorted list. I examine the two lists again. I take the smallest element and merge it into my newly sorted list. Again, I examine my two two sorted lists and I take the smallest element merge it into my newly sorted list. Again I take the smallest element which happens to be the 14, put it into my newly sorted list and then I have one element left. Okay so now I have a sorted list on the left hand side of my original list. Now I'm going to move to the right hand side. So I've sorted this left hand side of my list now I'm going to sort the right hand side of my list. How am I going to do that? I'm going to divide it into two lists. Okay, the 7 and the 0 and the 54 on the right hand side and I'm going to use merge sort to sort the left hand side of my list. So I'm going to split them into two lists. They each have one element so I'm going to merge them back into a sorted list. So I have 4 and I have 13. 
Then I'm going to move, so now I have a sorted list with the, the elements on the left hand side. Now I'm going to move to the right hand side and I'm going to merge sort again. So I'm going to split it into two different lists. This list is already sorted, so I move to the right hand side. I split the 0 and the 54 into two lists. And those are two sorted lists, so I merge them back together, choosing the smallest element from each list. So I have a sorted list on the right hand side. Now I need to merge these two sorted lists into one single sorted list. So I'm going to choose the smallest item from the two lists, which is the zero. Then I'm going to choose the smallest item from the two lists, which is the seven. Then I choose the smallest item from the two lists, which is the 54. Now I have two sorted lists from those original five elements in my original list and I want to merge these two lists back together. So again I choose the smallest element of the two lists um, and again choose the smallest element of the two lists so the four comes next. Then I choose the smallest element from the two lists which is the seven. Then I choose the smallest element again the thirteen choose the smallest element which is the 54 and now I have a sorted list of those elements that were on the right hand side of my original list. Okay, So now I have two sorted lists, one from the left hand side, one from the right hand side and if I merge these two sorted lists back together in sorted order just like I've been doing all along only now I'm going to go down the screen I'm going to take the smallest element from either of these two lists which happens to be the first element in each list I only have to compare the first elements in each of the lists and choose the smallest one because they happen to be in sorted order so now I'm going to choose the two I'm going to compare the five and the four and see which one is smaller and I'm going to choose the four the five and the seven the seven the, or sorry the five is smaller than the seven now I compare the 12 and the 7, so this is the merge step. Now the 12 and the 13, I'm going to choose the 12 because it's smaller, then I choose the 13 which is smaller, then I choose the 14 smaller, then I choose the 22, and then I'll choose the 54, and like magic, I've ended up with a sorted list. So what's the complexity of merge sort? Well, merge sort runs in order n log n time, and it does so in both best or in all of the best, average, and worst case scenarios. So each time through the algorithm, we're dividing the elements that we're sorting into half. So we have log n levels or divisions that are required. And at each level, just like quicksort, we look at n elements at each of these levels. Unlike quicksort, however, merge sort always divides the elements in roughly half. So therefore the algorithm always performs in order n log n time.